Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are from Bayum Tree and we present about tropical grandlands and savannas. We have four presenters which is Brandon, Nur Fahana, Iza Arzani and Nur Ain. So I will be presenting about the geography of uh, tropical grassland and savannas. Uh, there are two distinct seasons, the wet season and the dry season. The physical geography, the savanna is, gris, is a, a green land with scattered individual trees. Temperate grassland are categorized as having grassy as the dominant vegetation. The soil is very porous with rapid rainfall and has a thick layer of humus. Latitude and longitude between a latitude of 15 degrees north and 30 degrees south. The longitude is 15 degrees west and 40 degrees west. Elevation. Southern hemisphere got more precipitation than the northern hemisphere. Some grasses grow taller than 7 feet. The lowest elevation compared to temperate grasslands, with polar grasslands having the highest elevation. The ecosystem characterized by trees being sufficiently small or widely spaced so that the canopy does not close. The climate depends on the season. There is the wet summer season, dry or winter season. For the wet summer season, savannas can get up to 50 inches of rain very hot and humid for the dry or winter season little or no rainfall between december and february less than 44 inches of rain per month the rainfall per year ranges from 10 to 50 inches extremely drought the temperature of the savannas for the wet summer can reach between 80 to 100 degrees, while for the dry or winter season, drops below 64 degrees. Location of tropical grassland and savannas that is located near the equator between the tropical of Cancer and the tropical of Caprion, which includes the sub-Saharan Africa, southern Brazil, Mexico, Australia, and India. Thank you. Biodiversity for plants. In this biome, we could find the rhodus grass, red oak grass, star grasses, the lemon grasses, deciduous trees and shrub, group tree grassland, and tree growing on termite mound. And for the tree, most of the tree can live for a long period of the time without water, and trees grow in the river valley. Most of the trees are cottonwood oaks and willow and the species of the grass that can be found here are purple needle grass blue grama buffalo grass and galeta grass these grasses have extensive root system and its benefits to the vegetarian animal such as buffalo and most of the tall grasses grow at the wettest part while for the flower species they have aster blazing star cornflower golden roots sunflowers clovers Sorelias and wild indigas. Next, I will explain about the animal and fauna in tropical grassland and savanna. First, the kitten species. Kitten species is species that has a disproportionate effect on its environment relative to its biomass. For example, is elephant, woodpecker, black rhinoceros, and African wild dog. Next, the generally species which is able to thrive in a wide variety of environmental conditions and can make us use of a variety of different resources such as emu, black mamba snake, and lion. Next, the endemic species which is an ecological state of being unique to a particular geographic location. For example, waterbug, giraffe, zebra, and tiger. Next, endangered species, which is at risk of extinction. For example, the African wild dog, black rhinoceros, Ethiopian wolf, and striped hyena. Next, the threatened species are vulnerable to endangerment in the near future. For example, cheetah and wattle crane. And the last one is indicator species. This species is any biological species that define a trait or characteristic of the environment. 
All of these birds are the example of indicator species. This picture shows that the animals can be found in this biome. I'm Nafrahana. I represent about productivity of tropical grassland and savannas. Have five natural resources at there. One is livestock, present and progressing area for help of the livestock. Animal waste contribute to the facility of the soil, cattle, sheep and goats, romiac and meat. Secondly, wetland. Wetland is habitat and ecology to animal and plant. Animals depend on wetland to sustain life. Thirdly, is land. Land have nutrient rich because the amount of grasses and animal that is decay and return to the soil. Next is mineral, such as gold, diamond, uranium and chromium. The last one is crop agriculture, such as corn, sagum, wet and sugarcane.